Hi guys, so we're gonna start math today and I hope you can see me in the corner. So um, my videos are gonna be a bunch of different activities, but it's gonna be a lot like how we used to do it in class. So you'll know this and you'll show how smart you are and then we'll be finished and then you'll be ready for the next day. It's just the same thing, but now I'm on a computer. So I want you to say, I can make and break apart five. Get ready. Yes, I can make and break apart five. So you'll notice this is a five frame and I want you to count the dots. How many dots are there? Four. Yes, four. How many empty spaces? Yes, one. There are four dots and one empty space. How many do four and one make? Five. Four and one make five. Get ready? Yes, four and one make five. How many dots? Get ready? Yes, one. How many empty spaces? Get ready? Yes, four. One dot and four empty spaces. One and four make five. Yes, five. One and four make five. Yes, one and four make five. How many dots? Yes, three. How many spaces? Yes, two. Three and two make. Yes, five. Three and two make five. Get ready. Yes, three and two make five. How many dots? Get ready. Yes, five. How many spaces? Yes, zero. Five and zero make. Yes, five. Five and zero make five. Yes, five and zero make five. How many dots? Yes, two. How many spaces? Yes, three. Two and three make. Yes, five. Two and three make five. Hi guys, so we're gonna do a different video now. It's gonna be, um, I'm gonna show you some fingers and I'm gonna ask you to make something with them. So, I want to make three. Show me how much I need to make three. With your fingers, the math way. Yes, if you're showing me your pinky on the left hand, yes, one. So two and one make three. Say it with me. Two and one make three. Very nice. I want to make three. Yes, two. One and two. Oops, I did that wrong. One and two make three. One and two make three. Say it with me. One and two make three. Ready? How many more do I need? Yes, two. One and two make three. Get ready. Yes, two and one 
Yes, one and two. Now I want to make four. How many more fingers do I need to make four? If you're showing me the same fingers, yes. Two and two make four. Two and two make four. Get ready and make Yes, two and two make four. How many more do I need to make four? If you're showing me three, you're right. One and three make four. Get ready. Again, get ready. One and three make four. How many more do I need to make four? If you're showing me one, you're right. Three and one make four. Again, three and one, make four. How many more do I need to make four? If you're showing me three, you're right. One and three, make four. Get ready. Again, yes, one and three make four. Now I want to make five. If you're showing me two, you're right. Three and two make five. Again. One more time. Yes, three and two make five. How many more fingers do I need to make five? Yes, three. Two and three make five. Your turn. Again, perfect, two and three make five. How many more do I need to make five? If you're showing me this, you're right. One and four make five. Again, your turn, get ready. Yes, one and four make five. Again. Yes, one and four make five. How many more do I need to make five? Yes, one, four and one make five. Your turn. Again. Four and one make five. Hi guys, so you should have your application problem out and printed or a piece of paper. I'm going to be using my whiteboard, but you should be using um, paper or the application problem printed out and a pencil. That's all you'll need. Okay, so let's get started. Julia was at the beach and she had three seashells. 
So guess what? We're going to draw the three seashells. Let's do it together. So we are going to draw three seashells. I think I'm doing my seashells wrong. There we go. All my seashells look different. <laughs> I'm going to give you a few seconds to finish your seashells. They do not need to be perfect because obviously Miss Elias are not too, looking too hot right now. So then Julia's sister found two more seashells. <gasps> so we're going to draw the seashells that Julia's sister also found. Let's do it in a five group. So will they go here? Nope. Will they go up here? No, they're going to go right next to to finish the five group. Two seashells. So Julia had three and her sister found two. I'm going to give you a few moments to finish your seashells. Now, how many seashells do we have all together? Let's count. One, two, three, four, five. So I want you to write that number underneath your seashells. So we started with three. I want you to box, put a rectangle around the three we started with. And I also want you to put another box around the two that her sister found so that we can see that three and two are number partners to five. So three and two make five. Let's say it together. Three and two make five. Very nice. So this is all you need to complete your application problem. So now you can write your name on it and you can give it to your parents to turn into the computer. Great job on your application problem. Hi guys, so we're gonna get to the meat and potatoes of our lesson right here. And that is about number bonds. So we're gonna start, we have hula hoops, we have children and those hula hoops have paths. And there are, these paths lead to the hole and these are called parts. What are these? two called parts yes and then this is a hole yes this is a hole so let's pretend that the three of them are going to a party because there are three students so they are going to walk along the path to get to the party. One student and two students make three. Yes, one and two make three. Get ready. Yes, one and two make three. Now, what if we had four students? We have three in one part and one in the other part, and we want them to travel to go to the hole. What would that look like? Let's watch. Three students and one student make four. Yes, four. Three and one make four. Your turn. 
Yes, three and one make four. As you can see, we have three students in one part, one student in the other part, and they travel down the paths to the hole to make four. Now, we have five students. Let's pretend that the five students are going to school. So three of them are in this part and they're gonna travel down the, the path to the hole. And these two students that are in this part are gonna travel down the path to the hole. Let's see what it looks like all together. Three students and two students make five. Yes, three and two make five. Get ready. Yes, three and two make five. Amazing. What if I flipped the number bond? See how it was facing this way before and now it's going to face this way. Does it change the story at all if I flip the number bond? How are you so smart? You knew that. No, no. The number bond can go any different way. It can go up, it could go down, it could go sideways, it could go the other sideways. It doesn't matter as long as you have the same parts and the same hole and it makes sense. It's the same number bond. So did the story change now? No. So now let's look at these chickens and these ducks. For this, I might need to draw a little something. So I'm gonna get my drawing tool. Let's make it pink. I feel in a pink mood today. Let's show a put together story in a hula hoop. It's called a number bond. Wow, that's a really tiny number bond, Miss Celia. Let's make it a little bigger. It's not going to be the neatest number bond you've ever seen because I am drawing on a mouse pad. But you know what? Now you guys can have the neater number bond. Okay. So we have our number bond. Let's see, what can I look at at these ducks and the chickens? I'm gonna tell you one number bond I notice. And I'm gonna tell you a story. So, I notice that there are three ducks. And there are two chickens. So I showed that by putting these little stamps of stars because they stand for the ducks. How many ducks are there? Yes, three. There's three ducks and how many chickens? Yes, two chickens. So I'm going to say that three ducks and two chickens went to the farm together. So I'm gonna uh, put what that looks like with my little stamps. Three and two make, let's count. One, two, three, four, five. Three and two make, get ready. Yes, five, let's see if I'm right. Let's check, let's count the chickens and ducks over here. One, two, three, four, five. So my number sentence makes sense. Three and two make five. Now what if we wanted to tell a take apart story? 
let me tell you my take apart story. Real life people, a bug just flew by me and I got really scared. No bugs right here. Okay, so three ducks walked back to the pond. So they were at, they were all hanging out at the farm and then the three ducks walked back to the pond and the two chickens went back to the chicken coop. There's my take apart story. So let's go over my put together story. Three ducks and two chickens went to the farm. That is my put together story. My take apart story is three ducks went to the pond. So they left the farm and went to the pond. And my two ducks left the farm and went to I mean, sorry, my two chickens left the farm and went to the chicken coop. So that is my take apart story. Capiche, got it? All right, let's clear my drawings and let's move on. That's it, we're on to our problem sets. So, this is the part where you do it on your own and you turn it in for a grade. So let me go over it before you start. You should have a paper that looks like this. If you don't have a paper that looks like this, you can get your own paper and draw it yourself. So how many white butterflies do we have? Mm -hmm, we have two. And how many black butterflies do we have? Yes, three. So we, when we put them together and they travel down the number path, three and two make, yes, five. So you're gonna do that here, write the numbers in, fill it in. I know you guys can do it super easy for you. Let's move on to the next part. How many cats are awake and how many are sleeping? You're gonna fill that in and your number bond. I trust that you can do this on your own, but if you need any help, I'm sure your parents can read it to you, but you guys are too smart, right? So on this last part with the number bond, let's count how many circles there are. One, two, three, four, five. Hmm, let's count how many cats there are. One, two, three, four, five. Ooh. So that means this is the whole is talking about how many cats we have all together. But the parts are going to be how many cats are sleeping and how many cats are awake. So you're gonna write, you're gonna draw circles to represent cats. Does Miss Aliyah wanna see cats in these parts? No, she doesn't. She wants to see circles. So I hope you guys enjoyed lesson one of our math and I'll see you tomorrow for our second math lesson. Woo! Bye guys.